What's going on guys? This is Barker, back with another video, back like I never left, talking about the NBA as usual. And I kind of have a different topic today. I mean, it's obviously the NBA, but I want to be talking about the recent All-Star starter, who they picked for the All-Star starters this year. So I'm kind of annoyed with who they picked. I'm very annoyed, honestly. And it kind of pisses me off. I know it's just the All-Star game. I know it's just the starters. They haven't even released who the normal reserves for the All-Stars are. But it still pisses me off. So, if you haven't seen them yet, there's two questionable starters. One of them being Bradley Beal. And the other being Luka Doncic. So, Damian Lillard has been absolutely balling since CJ McCollum got injured, and Yusuf Nurkic. He has looked like the greatest player in the NBA this season, and yet Luka becomes a starter over Damian Lillard. The Trailblazers are currently the fourth seed. The Mavericks, I believe, aren't even in the top eight in the West, but yet Luka Doncic is a starter over Damian Lillard? Really? How, how does that make any sense? And then Bradley Beal is a East starter. But yet, last season, he was averaging like the exact same numbers. He's averaging like two more points this season, but like one and a half less assists, so basically the same numbers. And he's a starter this year, but last year he didn't even make the All-Star game. He wasn't even an All-NBA player. So what changed? You know, that's a major problem with the NBA. It follows narratives it just tries to make this narrative and you can see that a lot if you listen to the interview uh, of LeBron James talking about how Marcus Gasol stole the defensive player of the year award from him it didn't make sense Marcus Gasol won defensive player of the year but he was all NBA second team defensive player of the year goes to the best defensive player so why was he not on all NBA first team but yet LeBron was it doesn't make any sense just like how Bradley Beal even though his team is 9-17, and 17, and the reason he didn't make it last year was not because of his numbers, but it was because of his team's record and how bad it was. But yet, this season, he ended up as 9-17 and 17 right now. Right now, the Washington Wizards are 9-17, and, and yet he becomes an NBA All-Star starter. And last season, the Wizards went 25-47. and 47 which is like a 53 win percentage. 9 and 17 is like a 52 win percentage. But yet somehow he's a starter now, averaging the exact same numbers. It makes no sense. Yeah, he had a lot of big 50 point games, but he lost those games. And the thing that really shows how stupid the All-Star picks are is the 2018 NBA All-Star roster. So you had the likes of Kyle Lowry and Al Horford making that all-star team. And the reason they gave for this is that the fact that they were on the top teams in the East. And they were a big part of that, but their numbers didn't show it as much. So they became all-stars. And, you know, that's a solid point. Like, if you're on, like, the first seed, second seed in your conference, you should definitely be a candidate for an all-star if you're, like the second option on that team, third option, if your team's really that good. But yet, you know, like, so Andre Drummond didn't make it, even though Andre Drummond was having a better season than Al Horford. Kemba Walker didn't make it, but he was having a better season than Kyle Lowry. And the reason for that, like I said, was because the Celtics and the Raptors were the top teams in the East, so they gave them, you know, extra all-star consideration for Al Horford and Kyle Lowry and made them all-stars and you know it made sense and I was a little annoyed because I wanted Drummond to become an all-star because I'm a Pistons fan but I understood the reasoning but now this season Bradley Beal makes the all-star starters even though last season he didn't make the all-star team or an all-NBA team because they said their team was too bad but yet the Wizards are so bad and Bradley Beal is becoming a starter. They completely changed the quota. And I don't understand why. It makes no sense why Bradley Beal is a starter. 
and it doesn't make any sense why Damian Lillard isn't a starter over Luka Doncic. Uh, I think fan votes need to go. I like. I think it's a cool thing to add the fans to it. I just think fans are like. At the end of the day, the fans vote stupid votes and not for the best vote. Like Derrick Rose got a ton of votes. Alex Caruso got a ton of votes, and obviously those guys aren't all stars this season. They're barely. You know, they don't even start. So, it just doesn't make sense. I'm very annoyed with how it just keeps flipping and flopping for wars and all-star selections. It doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't. Because on the end of the day, Jeremy Grant of the Pistons. The Pistons are bad. So, you know, everyone's like, even though he's having a good season, he's not going to become an all-star because the Pistons are bad. But yet, Bradley Beal becomes an East All-Star starter. So does Jeremy Grant deserve to be an All-Star then? It, it just doesn't make any sense. And it's unfair to the other guys who aren't getting as much votes and all that because there's so much publicity for Bradley Beal because he didn't make it last year. So a bunch of people voted him in. I think he had like the most votes out of anyone because people want to see him you know, be an All-Star since... <clears throat> He, a lot of people wanted to see him be in it last year, and a lot of people were annoyed he didn't even make an all-NBA team. So, you know, we can't follow narratives like that. We need to stick to, if they're not a winning team, they can't be an all-star. Or, if they're a bad team, they can be an all-star. you got to stick to one. You can't just keep flipping every season. Then you're, you know, cutting out people who may deserve it more. And it's just, it's just not fair, to be honest. You know, I didn't want to sound like a prissy little wah, little, little crybaby about it, but it's the truth. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm right, or do you think shut up and just let Bradley Beal be an all-star and stop talking about the narrative and the credentials? Let me know. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Peace. <laughs>